loading back up because the wind's picking up and Mother Nature's The weather doesn't rain. look good. Billy doing, called. I'm doing good on the Arbonne diet. Should be. Easy. That's okay. That's right. We like to take a Saturday stroll. That's the right long one. That's right. Long. That's right. Yeah, Billy called and it's absolutely pouring at his house, which is that way. Over by that hill. Yeah. Where the wind is coming from, so. We're going to get picked up and then head back home. We're going to stop at Longhorn and Holyoke and have some, have some, have some beverages. <laughs> Non-alcoholic. Okay. Of course. Just lemonade. PG. That's right. Just lemonade because it's humid as you know what. <laughs> shirts are available. Yes, we have shirts. Shirts. So a shirt, Walt. Shirts. We are out of two X's and three X's. So if you need one of those, please message us and we can see if we can get enough rounded up to do another order. Very nice. Look at that detail. Feel in there. Yeah. And they fit true to size. If you look close, you can see Walt grinning in the helmet. Yeah, he you is can. in there, yep. Yeah. He is grinning. Is yeah. Bob Hilbert does a nice job. Yeah, they do. They do a great job. Yeah. yeah. So, very nice. Thanks to them. You know, I feel like I could be Vanna White. Okay. Ding. That's right. You're good. <laughs> Wouldn't ding that. Ding. <laughs> All right, let's get loaded up because it's going to rain and we already washed the cars once. So don't want the trailer yeah. to be gross. We're going to get things squared away. Thanks for watching. This is a big, long video, I know. So, I, I was headed over there. I was going to give them a rundown of the track, but. Oh. Yeah, we ain't gonna have time to get around a half yeah. mile. No. no. Bear Ridge, you could win. Here you go. Done. Okay. Well, we can get loaded and see if we have time to do that. All right. Chop, chop. Time to get to work. Video. Good run tonight. Get it loaded up. We get this thing home and wash. We don't even need to wash it. sun partial rain so we got a minute so let's take a walk and we'll show you the banking and, and what Lebanon Valley looks like um, it measures they say a half mile it's a, a big half mile um, it's very high banked some people a lot of guys practiced uh, some guys tested here before Bristol uh, with the big blocks because of the configuration is similar certainly not the same by any means but similar to uh, Bristol when they run the big block race. So uh, you can see here in a minute when we get all the way down, we park about middle of the back stretch uh, in the infield. By the way, everybody's in the infield. It's very cramped, uh, which is a good thing. Not this week. <laughs> not this week, not right now, but there are so many cars that come here full fields um, that uh, it's, it's really one of the tightest pit areas that we go to um, as far as that goes. Got a trailer coming in. So anyway, we're almost down here to the corner. And we'll see. We got a pond that's where they suck the water out. You can swim in it if you want. There has been winners who have jumped in. Um, nobody's sure what really lives in there. Um, there's no gators here, but whatever else. 
capacity or on your own. So, um, let this truck go on. So yeah, we'll come out, we'll, we'll sneak out here. The water trucks are still working. Even though it might rain, they still pound the water to it. Yeah, so now, if you look over here, you can see the banking in the in the straight in the corner here. Um, it's pretty steep. I know it always that gets steeper at coming out. Um, and even the straightaway is banked down a straightaway. It's a long straightaway down there. And other corner, same thing. It's pretty much hammered down. Um, when the tracks got bite, you lift just long enough for your car to set, and then you're back on it. Um, a big block here. The big block cars are probably 130 miles an hour, 140, something like that. When a track's got a lot of grip in it, a crate car anywhere from 100, 110, depending on the track surface. There's there's nothing here that doesn't go fast. <laughs> Even the water trucks, we laugh, have to go fast. Uh, you know, right now probably 45 miles an hour to stay up on the bank, and we see it slide off of it. here we can walk over and take a look at the front stretch of grandstand so we'll walk over there and check that out just shot some video of, of the corner uh, that would be turn um, four coming out of turn four we'll walk out here on pit road there actually is a pit road with a pit wall we can go out here on, on pit road and have a look track flattens just a little bit when you're coming up out of this corner here over, over here flattens out a little bit so it's a little bit tricky it looks like it's the same both ends but it's really not um, it'll scare you and let you slide up the racetrack because the banking comes out from under you a little bit but the whole trick is you have to hold the throttle down um, so when you guys are watching um, video or if you watch on flow racing or something you see the cars they kind of dance a little bit and, and that's what it is um, that and you're going so fast so hard on the right rear tire but I don't know how many I don't know how many people that seats here there's a lot um, they have the towers up off above Grandstand all the way down the front stretch. There's a uh, a, a bar down on turn uh, turn two um, here. There's a drag strip here. There's a go kart track here in the back. It's a huge facility and it's old. It's been here for God. I think don't quote me, but I think it was in the early 50s when it was built. I'm not sure who built it, but uh, got a lot of a lot of history. A lot of great great dirt track racers here in the Northeast. Legends have raced here. Still race here. Um, which is also a nice thing to be mixed in with guys like that. Um, you can't help but learn from them and, and get better. So another another reason that we decided to spend a year here at Lebanon Valley. Um, and, and the fans are great. Uh, they're really excited to be at the racetrack and to see you know every division here. You feel appreciated from the fans. It's really really cool. So we we'll walk down here on the front stretch by the big blocks. This is like the the big pit road. It's kind of empty today right now because it's raining. A lot of people live local to here, so they're waiting until the last minute to try and come. And on any normal night, the stands are absolutely packed, which is awesome to see. Heather's shooting uh, 
they have a glassed in VIP section. They have an upper upper section there. Um, again, seats a lot of people, usually is full. They have a nice midway food and souvenirs and stuff out on the other side. So the flag stand here, um, again, bigger than a lot of places that you see. Um, a lot of fat, fast race cars, again. And a different, a little bit different style race here. You gotta kind of pay attention, really pay attention to what you're doing, because um, you can change lanes. You can race three and four wide sometimes, and you can build a big head of steam. But again, a lot of people have been asking, you know, what's it like? Um, you get to see the in car with Walt and I, so you get to see what's inside. But that's a walk around Lebanon Valley Speedway, so you get to kind of see what's on the outside um, and, and what we're up against. So hopefully you enjoy that and uh, keep the questions coming. We'll try to answer anything you got. And, uh, and have fun. Hopefully it don't rain. <laughs> so they're currently calling the start of Hall Laps to go out. Our cars are still in the trailer. Um, weather's still not looking great. So we'll see. So update, we have unloaded one car. It is now raining. We're unloading the second car, but um, so we are officially reloading the car and going to head home. Well, we'll head out together. job of loading it, unloading it, strapping it down. We got some work done. Yes, sir. We did that. Ran the, ran the lift battery dead going up and down a couple times. Right. You know, but you'll have these weekends, I guess. Um, kind of stinks. We drove three hours for nothing, but you'll have that. So, yeah. Nothing great happened today. Really. Oh, pretty, pretty uneventful. Yeah. yeah. Burnt, burnt some diesel fuel and rode up and down I-90 again. The scenery's all right. Yeah, not too bad. So maybe we're gonna stop somewhere for dinner. Absolutely. Longhorn or something like that. Longhorn. I can see some steak calling me. We didn't blow our wad racing, so we can have steak tonight. That's if, right. If not, it's usually the half-off cheeseburger on the way home or something right. at right. the truck stop. It's been there all day. <laughs> yeah. Shoe leather. Yeah. So, anyways, thanks for watching. This one's a short one. Um, girls are in the back. Mom's sleeping. Caleb might be sleeping. I don't know. She's waving. Heather's, I don't know, doing what Heather does. She's always on her computer. That's how she, she gets the videos done. She's probably a step ahead of us or something. So, yeah. That's it. We're going to make our three-hour ride home. So, as always, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, order a t-shirt, supplies. We're starting to get short on some sizes. We've sold a lot of 2Xs, 3Xs, smalls. Um, so, if you haven't gotten that order in, let us know. Um, if we don't have that size or something, just shoot us a message on Facebook um, and we'll get it squared away. So, yeah. You got anything else? You're good. We got a good narrow bridge. That's what we got. We're at the needle right now as we speak. Yeah, this one's real narrow. We made it. We got it. Everybody needs to use the bathroom. There's Porta John right there. Get slide the road. Yep. Slam it park and get out. So, yeah. As always, thanks for watching. Hope everybody has a good night.